The Federal Trade Commission has laid down the gauntlet in regards to dealing with vulnerabilities in the world's most popular communication devices. Apple, BlackBerry, Google, HTC, LG, Microsoft, Motorola, and Samsung each received a 10-page letter from the FTC demanding, among other things, details on the mobile devices each company has sold since 2013, the vulnerabilities that have affected each of those devices, the actions that the company took in addressing those vulnerabilities, and the process that each company uses when determining if a particular device will get patched. The open letter is in a response to a perceived laxness in security process when it comes to protecting devices that may be past their prime. Basically, the FTC isn't happy that manufacturers drag out security releases and have, in the past, stopped supporting devices within days of selling them. The FTC isn't tipping their hand as to what actions they might take to compel a more comprehensive upgrade policy among those mobile vendors. But it is interesting to note that the letter comes at the same time that the FTC has appealed to the white hats of the world to, quote, unquote, motivate the leading vendors to protect their products. In other words, hey, mobile vendors, fix your stuff or we'll embarrass you. Say hello to Parsi McParseface. Google has released SyntaxNet, its natural language parsing framework, as an open source project, adding yet another option to the growing set of tools for creating applications that utilize artificial intelligence. SyntaxNet is a neural network framework implemented in TensorFlow. It provides the basis for creating a system that understands natural language. It also comes with Parsi McParseface an English language parsing model that Google claims is the most accurate model available. Google CEO Sundar Pichai in the company's founder's letter last month highlighted the value of the company's long-term investment in machine learning and AI. Quote, we've been building the best AI team and tools for years and recent breakthroughs will allow us to do even more, end quote. AI tools may also help Google generate revenue since much of this machine learning software is designed to run and be billed for in the cloud.